So I made the nomination for Jenna um, because um, although she has a disability herself, she's never let it be the glass ceiling that it could become. Um, she has continuously looked to be proactive in helping not only herself but then so many other people across the trust that have either cochlear um, implants or hearing aids to work through a whole range of different uh, devices whether it be stethoscopes through to modified um, safety helmets for road traffic collisions. During when people were masked wearers, uh, Jenna herself um, will also help um, here by lip reading and obviously that's a real um, big issue when we're all wearing masks um, and what she um, did was help to promote a small token, a small badge that she helped to create with the trust to help people understand that she lip reads or people with hearing, hearing disabilities may need to have a slight adaption to how they would communicate um, and uh, she did that uh, in discreetly um, but succinctly but also really it's a really great effect for people that have um, a hearing disability. It, um, Jenna has just been so humble and gracious um, and supportive to so many people um, that I think it's deserving that she was recognised for doing that in all in her own time and, um, and she's just an ambassador for the ambulance service. Jenna, congratulations on your award. Thank you for what you've been doing and to all the members of staff um, that um, have also benefited from all the work that you've been doing um, on behalf of them and including I. Thank you.